Hi, my name is Chrissy Mason. I want to welcome you to Burnt Rock, nestled here in the uh, ridges of the Sawtooth Mountains. I'm just about eight-tenths of a mile off of Lake Superior, sitting up at about 1,200 feet with just a spectacular view of Lake Superior. And this is my home, the first and only Tom Kundig design in the state of Minnesota. So one of the unique challenges of building here was this entire site is essentially bedrock. So I have no dirt, no soil, no way to put in footings. So all of the piers that are placed along the property here have literally been drilled into bedrock. And so the way that Tom designed it, essentially the cabin floats above that bedrock. Um, another neat feature about the cabin design was the actual pitch of the roof. Two important notes there. It's a one to 1.25 pitch. And you know, most people when they build with a beautiful site like this, the thought is to put massive windows on the south facing side. Well, because of our climate up here, 40 miles south of Canada, uh, that didn't make a lot of sense. So Tom actually canted the roof towards the lake, which when the summer sun is up, uh, it shields those windows, creating a sort of passive a cooling, and then in the winter, conversely, a, pass, a passive heating. Uh, so I never get summer sunshine beating directly in my windows, but in the winter, when that sun starts to set, set lower, it shines in and I get wonderful passive heating. So really great design. It also kind of follows the slope of the actual uh, sawtooth mountain here that I sit on. Tom uh, designs a lot of his buildings with pivot doors, but um, a unique challenge for the climate up here, again, being 40 miles from Canada, where we get very, very harsh winds, very, very harsh winters, was, a, was insulation. So most of the pivot doors that get put in in Washington and places like that, they tend to be beautiful steel custom doors, but they're not built for Minnesota winters. So I had to look for something that was more elevated, more uh, energy efficient, could hold tight to the gale force winds. So we went with an Anderson, and in addition, it kind of set the stage for um, a building that's uniquely me. I wanted something that really uh, popped and um, I like color <laughs> so uh, and red is my favorite so I could have gone with yellow or blue but I, I just think red makes much more of a statement so well here we go we have my bedroom it's a small uh, sort of cozy space when I'm at the cabin I don't spend a whole lot of time in a bedroom other than you know, going to sleep and doing some reading. Um, and so it's very compact, very economical use of space, but we have beautiful high ceilings. So even though it's really only a 10 by 10, it feels much larger than that. Uh, very voluminous ceiling. And, um, and then again, a spectacular view out of the bedroom. So this is typically where my dog lays, but he's not here right now, but this is his spot. He watches over the bears and the deer and, and anything else that might roam this way. We're going to move into essentially really the heartbeat of the cabin and um, the way that Tom designed this and the glass and windows um, that are in this space. Uh, really, I think you'll see why it's the heartbeat of the cabin. I wanted uh, basically an immense amount of light and the sense of uh, being in the outdoors even though I'm indoors and um, I'm very much an outdoors person and I didn't want a cabin or a hut that sort of had lots of walls and very little in the ter in terms of windows because as you can see I mean it's a lovely setting it's a lovely and dramatic setting so I went with the Anderson 400 series contemporary windows because of the size options, because they were casement rollouts, the way that um, you know my countertop sort of flows right into the outdoors. Uh, you know, having a, a window style that could match um, that sense of openness and letting all the air and, and all of the you know the beautiful scenery in was really vital for me. And again, they're a local they're a local maker here in Minnesota. Another thing that was important to me was the lighting. Um, Hennepin made lighting, which is essentially all of my lighting in here, 
Uh, they are also a local Minneapolis, Minnesota brand in all of their glasses, hand blown, custom fixtures. So again, keeping in tune with, you know, Minnesota, our sort of Scandinavian uh, roots, Scandinavian German roots. I wanted to keep things very true culturally to Minnesota. All of my appliances I chose were, they're kind of small and petite to match the space. I don't do a lot of cooking up here, but um, I do some, and these are marvelous for that purpose. So while I don't do a lot of cooking in the summer over the stove, I do, I would like to show you my outdoor kitchen where I tend to spend much more time. So, so stepping out of one of two Anderson E-Series doors, there I have a pair of them here on my east side, so when the sun is coming up, uh, gluts in that glorious eastern uh, sunrises. So my outdoor area here, my outdoor kitchen, that's a, um, a lot of you will recognize. It's a Santa Maria grill, so it's a wood-fired grill that I love. I love barbecuing. I did tenderloin last weekend. We did some smoke brats, and um, it's a wonderful way to cook outdoors and to enjoy the outdoor space, to literally be out here in the outdoors uh, and enjoy that space. In addition, this is the outdoor version of my um, board-formed concrete dual fireplace. So I still have an insert, the same folks that uh, built the beautiful door handle on the red pivot door. Uh, We'll be putting a, a beautiful handcrafted steel uh, insert into the fireplace. Uh, it's not there yet, but um, it's coming soon, I hear. So, so one of the important and, and marvelous things that Tom does so well in his designs is, you know, although the actual interior living space, the, the heated square footage, I believe is only 675 square feet, I have uh, an equal amount, Tom designed an equal amount on the exterior of the building, so it really feels much more like a 1,500 square foot space. Uh, and part of the beauty of that, of course, is the beautiful Anderson windows and doors, and then just this, the surroundings, you know, what I'm surrounded by. Um, and we sit up quite high, as you might be able to tell, um, we're up about 10 feet above the bedrock now floating on this deck. So, um, you know, that was a really important feature with a small cabin was to be able to expand that living space into the outdoors and, and also vital for me. So you may notice that I do not have a railing and, and that too is intentional. So that is not uh, a requirement in this part of the country. I'm, a, I'm an adventurous sort and so is all of my family and all of my friends and we kind of know that you don't step off the ledge. So you will not see a railing here and that's also intentional because it brings all the beautiful glass onto the deck and continues to sweep out right to the lake and into the forest. And I mean, it would literally be a crying shame to put a railing on this property. So that's why I do not have a, a railing. So let's pop inside. I'd love to show you my big Anderson multi-glide door. So the thing about the, uh, the cabin as originally designed, this was to be solid, just solid plate glass, nothing movable. And I kind of knew right off the bat that that was not going to work for me, knowing how much I like to go in and out and enjoy the outdoors. And, you know, in addition with this spectacular view. So in early talks with uh, Anderson Windows, they made me aware of a solution, and that was their big door series, their multi-glides. And so essentially, instead of a 20 by 7 foot solid glass panel that I could not move in and out of, I have a 7 by 20 feet sliding, removable, essentially, uh, glass door that allows me to immediately step outside. Um, the other interesting thing about that, though, is even though it does that, it keeps me really, really warm and cozy in the winters because of all of the 
properties that they've built in and the technology that's been built into the door. So while I do have a lot of glass, it stays very warm and cozy in here.